Hello everyone, I am Siddharthan. In this video, let's discuss how we can access OpenAI's newest and most capable model GPT-4 Wo, which stands for GPT-4 Omni uh, in Python using OpenAI library. So this will be the agenda for today's video and let's get started. So I'll open my Google collaboratory session. So here what we are going to do is install the OpenAI library, get the keys from OpenAI and access the GPT-40 model for tasks like chat completions and, and image processing and so on. So we know that this chat uh, GPT-40, the generative pre-trained transformer for Omni, so this is the full extension. So this model is multi-model uh, mod model. So that means like it can take inputs in different formats. So it can take uh, text uh, you know, input and it can also take image uh, input. So they are going to launch this for audio as well. But for now, let's just work with this text and image. So that's what we are going to see here. So first, uh, let's connect our collaboratory session and install the OpenAI library. So I'll say pip install. Uh, I can put double iPhone and say upgrade. So this will make sure that if you already have OpenAI, this will upgrade it to the most latest package. So if you don't have, it will just install the uh, latest library that you have for this OpenAI. So let's run this. So this will install this uh, OpenAI library. And now let's import the dependency. So here we are just going to use the OpenAI library alone. So I'll say importing the dependencies. So now let's import OpenAI. So the next step is we have to configure this session, this OpenAI package with our API key. So uh, I'll name this as configuring open a key so now let's see how we can get this open a key so go to google and search open a so i hope that you already have an account in open a and they give like five dollars credits per month uh, for which you can use in order to access these uh, models in the APIs. so go to this open a.com site so if you scroll below you have this different options so for everyone for teams and so on so here you can see like the latest gpt 4 model that has been launched so i've already made a video about this you can check that out too so if you scroll below so we have this for business section and then for developers so here we have this api right so go into this api section and go to this start building and you can also check the pricing there so now we have to uh, log in in order to get our api key so i'll click this login so i'll pass this video and i'll log in into my account so I have uh, logged in into my OpenAI account and here you can see the API keys and the usage. So the usage will tell you like how much you have used and the number of credits that you have in the balance. So you can check that out here. Okay. So that's uh, about it. And then you have this option of uh, API keys. So this is from uh, we can like kind of generate the API keys and we can use it in our code. So here I will delete the key that I already have. So I will revoke this key. And then you have this option of create a new secret key. So for this uh, GPT-4 war, right? So what I realized is that it's not working when you don't have a payment method. So if you haven't like have this card details, so it's not like working for that GPT-4 and the GPT-4 model, but GPT-3.5 is working without the card with the default $5 credit. You can even, if you are not comfortable with putting your payment method, you can just try it with 3.5 model as well. So it should work the same way. So here I'll give this create new API key and I'll call this as GPT-40 testing key. And uh, we have the permission. So whether we have this restricted permission and like you can say like which are all the you know capabilities that this particular API key can use and if it's like only read only and so on. So here I'll give this all and I don't have any different projects. So it's like only one project, the default project and then give the permissions as all and create this secret key. So now we will see this so we can copy this and paste it in our code so once you are done with this you can revoke this api key and if you want you can generate a new one so here i'll come back to this place and say open ai dot api key is equal to so within the codes i can paste my key so here uh this is not like the most recommended way to do this because you you can't uh, kind of put your keys just in your code because you might have to share it with someone else right so what you can do is 
uh, put this in a config.json file, read the JSON file and then pass it to this APK. That's one way or the other way is put it in a .env file and load it with this .env. So that's like much better. But for easier uh, explain, explainability, I'll just put it here. Let's run this. Now let's build our two use cases. One is chat completion and the other one is image recognition kind of a task. So first thing is about chat completion. So here I'll create a variable called as response. So this response is equal to say openai.chat.completions. So from this uh, chat.completions module, we are going to use this create function. And uh, now open your parenthesis. The first parameter that we have to pass is model. So what's the kind of the model that you are going to use? So here I'll say GPT-40. So this is how you can mention the latest 40 model. So you have like different models that you can access from. So here uh, you have this docs, right? So you can go to this docs and see like the different models that you have. So we have we have this GPT-40, GPT-4 Turbo, GPT-3.5 Turbo and so on. So you can also like check the other uh, models that you have. So here you have this models section, right? In the documentation. So here you can see GPT-40, the fastest and the most affordable flagship model and the different versions that you have dolly and other things so here i'll mention this gpt 4 word so this uh, uppercase and lowercase all this should be you know the same way as i've mentioned here so the next is this kind of a payload that we have to give so here this or uh, we have to pass this parameter called messages and open a, open and close a list here and we have to pass a bunch of library bunch of dictionaries so first i'll say role this system and the content in this case is going to be I'll explain you what is the meaning of all these things so you are a you are a helpful assistant so the second one is this role user so the user would ask let's say this is like the default example that's given in the documentation so I'll say Who won the World Series in 2020? Okay, so this is the question. So let's understand what it basically means. So chat completions of it works is so you give like few conversation memory, right? Like let's say there is like uh, two messages that has been sent by the user and the assistant has sent two messages. So you can pass this to uh, you know kind of ask to assistant which is gpt 4 in this case to kind of continue this conversation or answer a particular question and the first thing that we are passing here is the system message which says you are a helpful assistant so we have this two key value pairs first one is role and the second one is content so role is when we mention system that means it kind of sets the context for the model so in the role of system we are saying that you are a helpful assistant that means uh, now the model kind of uh, takes in the role of being a helpful assistant now we have the user's question uh, of who won the world series in 2020 so this is the first question and let's say uh, the role is now assistant hmm. so this is again uh, let's put this tab again as i said this is the default example that they have given in the documentation as well so we can see it in this google's collab prompt as well okay so let's understand this so first we are setting up the system saying that you are a helpful assistant and then uh, we are asking a question of who won the world series in 2020 if a user asks a question so the assistant would have answered it this way so the content would be the los angeles dodgers won the world series in 2020 and then we have another question of role of user content where was it played now we pass this and the GPT-40 model has to respond to this question. So this is just an example. So similarly, you can have like a different system message kind of intending how you want your model to be. And you ask like any question, uh, you know, based on that. So that's how we can access it. So this is a chat completion works. So I'll run this. So the response would be stored in this variable called as response. I'll run this. Now, uh, let's print this response. So again, as I said, if you don't have a payment method enabled, right? So if you don't have any card details associated to it, it's giving an error for GPT-40 and the four turbo models. But if you try 3.5 turbo, it's working. So you can check that out. If you have some card details that you can put into, you can probably use that. And again, you have this $5 credits in your account. So now let's print this message. 
print response dot choice zero so response dot choices of zero dot message dot content so this will print the exact message but if you want the want to see the, the entire response you can just print that sorry okay so let's print this and see right so we have this chat completion thing so we have this choices and within this choices we have this list we have this choice and then we have this message uh, and content so this is what we are accessing from here so when you call, when you call this response dot choices so it will access this choices parameter thing and then it will go to the first value of this list so it goes to this choice and within this choice it takes this message dot content which is this message dot content which is equal to this is the answer that we are seeing so if you want to access this message alone you can use this print response dot choices of zero messages dot content so you will see the exact message so we have the message here. if you want to see this in the single place you can just instead of print you can just put in this response thing so this will show you the response so that 2020 world series was played at globe life field in texas and so on so this is how you can kind of build this chat completion thing where instead of this example you can also have like a different question and answer kind of a thing to just give some context to your assistant and later you can ask a question of where is it played or where was it played or like who was the mvp and so on so you can ask questions like this so this is how we can access this chat thing so all the things would be similar for other models too but again if you have this thing of like you know uh, uh, using this for a more complex test you can you can use this as well so the next thing is we are going to use this for image recognition task so here i'll say this is not i mean a re image recognition task or you can ask like any question from this so or we can also name this as image processing so anything you want we know that this is a multi-modal uh, as multi-modal capabilities that means it can take inputs in different data types so i'll just create this as multi-modal input so this uh, also kind of follows like a similar way of messages let's see how we can do that say response is equal to open a dot chat dot completion we can use the same thing completions dot create and first we need to say model is equal to gpt 4 wo and messages messages is equal to the same thing first uh, is the role which is the system message so i'll just use the first one so you are a helpful assistant so that is enough so this is set with the role as system and uh, next i'm going to see role is user So this means that that this is the user's question right and the content is open a list and i'll come to the next line and say type is text i'll explain you the formatting of this so you don't have to worry about this so this is type is text and this text is what is in this image okay and now the next thing that we are going to pass is type image url so you should also have like different options to do this so here we are going to pass url uh, for an image and ask the model what it is but you should have 
other option to just pass an image directly in a different format so that should also be possible so we have this image url and in the next line let's say image url yes. let's take an image from google so i'll just go to google and search Switzerland mountains so I'm just going to randomly pick an image and let's pass this image this URL and get the prediction of like what it is so I'll just like choose some image so here you can right click this and use this copy image address so this will copy the uh, URL of this particular image and paste it here so we have this image now <coughs> put a comma here and you just have to close all these things with like proper commas so use a comma after this ending things yeah this should work and finally after this last square bracket we have to say max tokens is equal to some number 300 okay so let's understand this so if you want you can also have this temperature thing but yeah this is sufficient for now so max tokens is basically the number of maximum tokens that you can have in your output text so that's what it means so let's understand this thing so first we have this response is equal to open dot chat completions dot create so here we are using the gpt 40 model and saying messages is equal to role system content is you are a helpful assistant and in the role of user so the user is going to ask an image and pass kind of an image to the model so let's understand this format so we have this content and previously within this content we have just passed this text now we have two uh, input from the user one is the text itself of asking what is that image is and the next one is the image itself so in this content we have this type and within this type we are passing this text and the text is nothing but what is in this image the next uh, parameter or the dictionary that we are passing is the image itself so we have this type and type is image url so next uh, in next place you are passing the image url and here we are seeing that url is equal to this thing and finally saying that max token is equal to 300 so let's run this hmm, missing required argument messages and models okay i think there is some issue with the parameters that we have mentioned so let's validate this one so first we have this chat dot completions dot create model is equal to gpt 4 wo messages is equal to role and hmm. uh, so there is a issue with the spelling so instead of messages i use this one to so say messages and here we can say max tokens let's run this so now we are getting a response and this will be stored in this response so similarly you can just copy and paste this same thing so you can do a print statement or without that as well so this should work so i'll paste it here so you will see the response and we can just do this without the print statement as well let's see what it says so it says this image depicts a picture alpine village at dusk or early evening and so on so it's snow covered buildings and then blah 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 so this is the i mean response we are getting which is like pretty accurate so this is how you can pass an image and ask like questions from it so here we are just like kind of saying the system or saying the assistant that you're going to be an helpful assistant and uh, passing a text of asking what is in this image and then passing an image url so similarly you can use this for other tasks as well so these are the two use cases that i wanted to share with you today one is just a chat completion text based input and the other one is passing like an image along with this text so in the later videos let's understand how we can use this gpt 40 model for uh, other advanced tasks such as, such as frag and how we can use this in order to you know get uh, multi-modal outputs as well like how you can generate images out of this and so on so i hope everyone is clear with this video and i, I uh, believe that this is useful to you so please kind of try this code uh, access this open ai model and then try this so as i said if you have this payment options you can use that and use the gpt4 if not you can just use the other models that are available so that's it for my side and i'll see you in the next upload thanks for watching